Hello, my name is Michael Elström. I will now demonstrate a refrigeration system where we have mounted vapor quality control sensors to control the circulation rate on the systems. And uh, we have here a compressor, we have a suction line, we have a rising pipe going up here, as you can see, with side glass, so we can see the flow regime during different load. And also here, you can see our new uh, flow meter who measuring the velocity in meter per second. We have our inline uh, vapor quality sensor mounted here and we have our vapor quality sensors, the strainer type, here. I have now started the system. As you can see here, you have a flow in the rising pipe here. The flow here is annular. <coughs> and the velocity you have in, in the suction line is about 20 meter per second. When we simulate a lower load, you can see what's happening uh, with, the, with the refrigerant in the rising pipe. I'll now go down in capacity. <coughs> now the velocity is very low. It's lower than 12 meter per second and you can see that the liquid is not transported upwards anymore. The liquid is floating back. And when the liquid is floating back, you will after a while have a pressure drop in the rising pipe because you will have slug flow. And when you have pressure drop, one degree of pressure drop will increase the power consumption on the system with about 4%. And you can easily, in a very big rising pipe, you can easily have a pressure drop of three to four degrees. So you can save a lot of money when you are able to control the circulation rate with vapor quality control. During high loads, you can have a high circulation rate. For example, you can have two in circulation rate. During low load, you can minimize the circulation rate down to one. It means that you're running, running dry in the, in the suction line during low load and don't have problem with a liquid standing in the rising pipe and give you big pressure drop. The vapor quality control sensor are able to measuring, as you can see in the haste log P diagram here, from fully wet to fully dry. We can even measuring in the superheated area up to 7K superheat. And the principle is that we can measuring inside uh, the piping no matter where you have the liquid. It measuring liquid drops, if measuring liquid standing liquid you have in the bottom of the piping. It doesn't matter. It's measuring everything. And the benefit from having a sensor like this is uh, that you are able to control your evaporator and system in a much more efficient way. The, the, the heat transfer coefficient is very depending on how much liquid you have in your pipe. And you can see here for our feed systems you will have more liquid compared to a semi-flooded system where you have a, an optimum uh, mixture of liquid and vapor. And for example also superheat you can see if you only have, have very limited uh, liquid in your evaporator tubes it's not very efficient because it's very dry.